All right, everybody. So um, got a sub today, and so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a plan here for what you have to do with your puzzle. So yesterday we were working on multi-view drawings. Today you're going to be working on multi-view drawings, but you're going to be applying that concept to your puzzle that you're designing. So remember, there are skills that you're learning along the way, and then we're applying those skills in the larger project, which is our Puzzle Cube project. So for this project, you're gonna have, or for this part of the project, what the first thing you're gonna have to do is make isometric drawings of each of your individual puzzle parts. So you've gotta pick which puzzle you're gonna use, and then you're gonna apply that to your, um, you're gonna apply that puzzle to the multi-view drawings, and uh, to start that, we've got to actually pull the, the parts out that you've designed. So I'm going to start off with um, part number one, okay? So part number one is three blocks high, and then it kind of goes in the middle, okay? So we're going to start off at that top dot, right? And again, we're just making isometric drawings of our puzzle part. So this is three high, so we're going to go one, two, three, connect that, and then now we're here, and we've worked with we've worked with these these types of puzzles or these types of drawings a bunch. So drawing an isometric it shouldn't be that crazy at this point. So now we're going to go over and up two. And the cool thing about this design is that this is done on isometric graph paper, so we just need to figure out our outline that we're going to apply here, okay? And so there's our L shape. And we get that L shape from this face right here, okay? That face right there. And now we've got to go do the other face, okay? The, the side view face or the front view face, okay? Okay, so you can see how I've made that L shape, and now we need to make this back line here, but that back line is going to be partially hidden. Okay. And I do want you guys to shade it the way that we've been practicing. So one line here, and we're going to do a double shade on this side. Okay, and so that part is done. So now, what do you do with that part? Well, you're going to do this with each of the individual parts that you see in here. So you're gonna you're gonna wanna label it. So this is part one. Then you would go to part two, okay? And we'll do two parts, and I'm not gonna do all five of my parts, but um, you guys will get the picture, and you will do your drawings for all five of your parts. So you're gonna have to do for one, for two, for three, for four, for five. So you've gotta submit in this assignment all five parts, okay? So part number two is that green part, and it's, three rows long and two rows high. So for this one, we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two. And it may take you more than one time to figure out how to draw this part, okay? So if it's something that is challenging to you, that is fine. You're, lear you're learning the basics of engineering at this point and sketching. So, like, struggling with multi-view drawings is not that big of a deal, especially if this is your first year engineering in high school, right? So, like, you may have to draw these more than one time and practice these more than one time to get it right. Okay. So now we've got parts one and two drawn and again you're gonna have to draw all five but for keeping this video short and not making it super long we're gonna I'm not gonna draw all five so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my isometric graph paper and I'm gonna cut out my two parts okay so you can just find something in your house pair of scissors cut out your graph paper Okay. So now I've got my individual parts, and we're going to take that, and we're going to place it on our drawing here. Okay, so we're going to place it on the drawing here, and this is what will allow us 
to do our front, uh, right, and top views. Okay, so we've got our isometric drawing now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this to our front view just like we did yesterday. So this front view, though, you got to remember there's a little piece that's sticking out behind there that we can't see. So this guy is three tall, so we're going to go three tall here for our front view. And we can see that it's that double shaded part, right? And so it's one. And then there's one that's hiding back there, and that's going to look like this right here. Now, this might not be the exact front view that we would choose for this object if we were really going for a perfect. But right now, I'm just trying to get you to transfer your three-dimensional part into our two-dimensional orthogra orthographic views here. Okay, So now we're going to go up. And remember, you should see your guidelines coming up. Okay, you should see those coming up. And we're going to use those guidelines to draw where our part should start. So from here, we know that this is too high. So it's two, two blocks high, not too high as in T-O-O, -O, but two T-W-O. And it's going to be, it's going to look like this. It's actually going to be two squares on top of each other. Okay, and then we're missing something. So I can tell I'm missing something here because it lines up on this side, but you can see it's not lining up on this side, right? So now I know I can actually, I should be making something over here. And actually I shouldn't have that line in there. Okay, I shouldn't have that line in there. That should be a flat piece right there. So if I'm looking at my puzzle parts, if I'm looking at my puzzle parts here, I should see, I don't know where I'm going to put my puzzle parts, okay, I should see that I've got my, I've got two lines here, I'm actually going to redraw this, I'm going to keep in the spirit of what it should actually look like here, I'm going to redraw this real quick. This should be a square, okay, and that square is the top of this part, and it should be a rectangle right here, boom. There we go. That looks better. That bugged me that that line was there. That that line being there would mean something specific. Okay, so we don't want to include that line that isn't actually there. Okay, so now we've got our our front view, our top view, and we're going to do our side view. And again, it should line up here. Okay, and so now we're drawing this view right here. We're drawing that L shape. And then in this case, because there's something hiding behind there, there should be a dotted line right here. Okay. And there we go. And there should actually be a dotted line here. Okay. And so that's our, our front view. If you're not sure where to use those dotted lines with the hidden feature, I'm not worried about those dotted lines right now. What I'm grading here. So if you're looking at like, hey, what is Gibbs actually going to grade here? I'm grading, A, were you able to make your isometric drawing of your puzzle part? And was it accurate? B, were you able to transfer it to your front view and your right view and your top view? Okay. And if you don't get the dotted lines in there, I'm not going to count that against you. If you do, that's awesome. But that's not something I'm uh, exactly concerned about right now. I want to get you guys used to transferring those parts around. Okay. Okay. So if we look at our part here just one last time, we know that it goes three down. And then there's that one that's kind of hiding back there. And that one hiding back there is this guy right here. Okay. Okay. So now let's take a look at our second part. Okay. So our second part is this guy. And we're going to get another piece of orthographic paper going. I'm going to set this guy up. Boom. And we have... this coming across okay and so now we're ready to actually make our front side and top views again so this is again all the drawings are in here so our front view is this double shaded piece so it's this square sorry 
it's this square and then this L shape is our front view. So that's actually going to be a square right here and then another larger square. Okay, so that's those two squares. This square is this square and this L shape is this L shape. And that drawing is done. And then we're going to go to our side view and I'm going to go across. Okay, make sure our construction lines line up. Okay, and so now we're looking at this view coming this way. And so this view has a square right here, a larger rectangle right next to it, and then another square. That's not my straightest lines ever, is it? That's all right. You guys can see I'm not perfect here. Just play a perfect teacher on TV. Okay. And then our next one is the top view, which is that white part on the top. And you're like, but that's three wide. How is it going to fit this way? It doesn't fit three wide going this way up here. It's going to fit two wide and it's actually going to be three high. Because remember, it's got to line up with your construction lines. If it doesn't line up with your construction lines, you probably got it rotated wrong or you are, you're not, um, you don't have the right drawing there. Okay. So this one is going to be three long, one, two, three, and it's going to be that T shape and that T shape is going to come out like this. Okay. And if you want to take it a step further, and again, this one's beyond the scope of what I'm trying to get to you guys here is if you're looking down from the top of us, there is a hidden feature under there. And so we could put those dotted lines in there. If you want to try the dotted lines, great. If not, I'm not too stressed about it. That's not the focus of this at this point. And so then you're done with this. So you've got to do, I would have to do three more of these for my uh, third, fourth, and fifth part. And then we're good to go. So um, you guys are going to do, what you have to do for this up today is, number one, you're going to take each of your puzzle design parts and you are going to draw an isometric drawing of each of the individual parts. So this is number two. We did number one together. I'd have to go back and do number five, and I'd have to do number four and three. Okay, you're gonna do your best on that. And then you're gonna transfer it to the isometric or the orthographic paper, and you're gonna make a multi-view drawing out of it, okay? So this is the last step before we get into our CAD environment. Um, so give it your best shot, guys. Thank you.